So I will say good evening to all of you and welcome to our meditational satsang this evening. It's wonderful to have you all here. And uh, for anyone who's new, which I don't think any of you are new, but we're just going to say it anyway, um, this is a sacred and safe space that we are providing here. So please feel free to share whatever you so choose to share and know that you are held in the utmost unconditional love and acceptance, free from judgment, and that we all love you. And this evening, we're going to talk about something that's in alignment with what's going on with the states there. You guys are having your Thanksgiving, I think, in a couple of days. Um, And it very much goes into alignment with... um, some things personally for me as well. Um, okay, Thursday. Thank you, Lady Di. I appreciate that. Uh, and Charlie says, uh, I'm thankful for you all. Yeah, so am I. Um, never much more so than I am in this moment. Uh, for those of you who do not know, um, I will say briefly that uh, six days ago I was nearly killed by a car um, here in town uh, on a corner and uh, as I was going across a crosswalk and uh, it was a very enlightening experience and I'm still attempting to process everything and within the processing of everything one of the key things that I received in in conjunction with what's going on with my twin soul and I is just this infinite space of appreciation you know the moment that you see your life flash before you um, in in that brief moment you often wonder okay what it is what is it you're really thinking about and the, the, what was really coming to me in those moments besides everything that was occurring was this infinite space of appreciation and knowing okay if this is it if this was my last breath in this life here on this earth that I felt complete that I felt that everything that I had meant to do and be and love and appreciate was right there in front of me and I could leave this earth knowing that and being in that sense of peace and so with the fact of your Thanksgiving coming up here in a couple of days I thought that um, we would kind of do a little bit of a round table this evening before we do our meditation um, and ask you all to uh, write what it is that you feel grateful for what are you thankful for what do you appreciate for me it's um, my every breath I mean there are so many things but for me it's my every breath and uh, all of you you know everyone whose lives I touch every moment and my children and my beloved and just you know so many many things but the biggest one my every breath right now my every moment of being just being here so what do you all appreciate what are you all grateful for thank you Caleb Caleb said that's very beautiful thank you I appreciate that what is it that you all are grateful for in this moment appreciative in this moment because you know the word appreciate means to increase in value so anytime you're appreciating you're increasing in value that of what it is you're appreciating <laughs> Lady Ty says you thank you <laughs> he's gonna go first <laughs> exactly Caleb's gonna go first so Caleb you've been nominated <laughs> what is it that you appreciate So send something a little long. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Kept you from from being there? Yes, uh, indeed, Lady Di. Kept you from being there. If I if I want to span the gap, feel free. Caleb says, "Well, that's awesome." Okay, I can do that. <laughs> I'm good at that because you know I sp- I'm still currently on the air, but I've spent many years in radio. Uh, so when we have those moments of uh, dead air, you know, it's like, okay, what do you do, right? And uh, some people panic. I've never had a opportunity to panic, um, but. Um, 
just sharing briefly some of the things that you know have occurred since uh, this accident I have been um, Saturday I went to a um, uh, gathering and the woman who was there uh, besides we had our own gathering on Saturday but the woman who was there at this gathering it was her house and the first thing she asked me was was I seeing any um, flashbacks and uh, so I have been you know seeing flashbacks and it's been a kind of unusual flashback um, situation that's been going on for me uh, I've been seeing two things one I've been seeing the gentleman's eyes um, who uh, hit me or almost hit me and uh, I, in those moments when it happened I also saw the parallel dimension of actually seeing uh, myself die actually him hitting me so in that actual moment that it happened but in the flashbacks that I've been having now I've actually been seeing his eyes and then it that horrid look in his face you know and then the other thing that's been coming to me is is because uh, as I wrote on Facebook and posted on our website as well as I'm also being seeing my beloved's eyes and seeing that actual moment that we shared at that at that same intersection and that was four years ago, uh, winter solstice. And so it's been reminding me of what happened in those moments. And so it's been like an interchangeable flashback. And what's come to me in appreciation for that is, is uh, someone uh, messaged me, um, who I mentor, uh, get, sent me a message yesterday uh, about acceptance and coming to a level of acceptance and understanding and I was really sitting with what he wrote because it really kind of brought something home that you know of really coming into this space of acceptance of what happened and how the two of us now are coming together and you know everything's just unfolding and it's it's almost like you know uh, such an appreciation for what happened because it was such a catalyst in so many ways it just kind of it, it, it brought forth so much and sometimes we have those opposite things you know in which that happens and uh, Charlie wrote I am thankful for everything literally I can't say I'm thankful for a couple of things because I feel bad for the other things oh <laughs> well yeah no kidding eh uh, Rianne you say I'm sorry I'm late no worries love you are in divine timing we were just beginning a discussion actually we haven't even started the meditation we're just doing a discussion here about what we're grateful for what we appreciate um, and I was sharing of my experience that ha happened uh, you know six days ago uh, in which I was almost killed and how the appreciation that's come through in the flashbacks that I've uh, been receiving on this and how it's taking things to a next level because <clears throat> what happened in those moments um, between my beloved and I at that same intersection was an acknowledgement of our love for each other an acknowledgement of our marriage of our union and really coming into accepting that and understanding that and so on some very deep levels it's brought about such appreciation and such uh, beauty and such love even though it was something that you know we would consider to be you know a horrible event so to speak <coughs> and um, so um, Rianne said I'm glad you are alive yeah that makes two of us and lady I said ditto uh, that makes two of us I am very very grateful in my every breath I'm very very grateful for that Caleb wrote the following for those who have been keeping tabs on my Facebook and Ascension two days after Nanari's close encounter I was in a car accident that totaled my car Thinking back on it now, I can feel the terror I was in. It's hard to keep my hands from shaking uncontrollably. Oh, boy, can I relate. In the moment, I was filled with adrenaline. No one was injured, and I fully believe that my butterfly man was protecting me as well as the other woman during the crash. And thank God the woman swerved a couple of inches, because if she didn't, and I advanced maybe another foot further I would I would have been killed uh, or seriously injured my life changed from that moment and I immediately called my mother 
that was a big step. And before I could explain fully to her my situation, she offered to have me live with her. I am thankful for my ability to forgive, to live under forgiveness and grace, because without that, I would have been too proud to love my mother again. I am thankful just to be alive. I am thankful for giving my mo- for, for forgiving my mother only several days before the crash. Very powerful. Very, very powerful, Caleb. I honor you. Uh, can I say that I relate? In so many ways, I still have moments. Um, I think over the first 24 hours or so after it happened, I couldn't stop shaking. So I totally know um, where you're at with that. I mean, holding the cell phone and trying to call my beloved and texting him and everything that happened. And for probably the whole day afterwards, um, I was shaking. So I very much, and uh, I'm glad and honor you for connecting with your mother and uh, that you were able to forgive her and that you've started again <clears throat> on your journey. That is very, very uh, amazing and so beautiful, and I'm so happy for you, and I'm so happy that you too are alive because I do know um, and I do deeply understand. It's... Uh, yeah, it's profoundly changed my life too, in so many ways. Yeah, people who are close to me knew I hated her. Caleb said, and I was very angry. Yes, I, <laughs> I remember going through that. I remember going through that too with my family and with other people in my life as well. Um, so thank you for sharing that. Uh, very powerfully um, it, it it does it changes you it 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 really gives you a pause to really think about what's really important and you know for for me and my beloved sweet troubadour we'd been kind of in this holding pattern and it was a really big wake-up call to both of us um, he was very strong for me during those moments, but I know he was freaking out too, and I know how much it affected him and how much it's changed both of us to realize, and as a consequence, um, what originally happened, uh, the place that I was supposed to be going to uh, move to originally had fallen through just uh, days before this accident happened for me, and uh, within 24 hours after this occurred for me last week, uh, I ended up having a new place, which is actually only 800 meters from my beloved now. So I'm going to be very close. I'm moving on the 29th and, you know, I'm going to be very close to him. Right now I'm on the other side of town. <laughs> so um, that was a blessing as well. And I know it's time uh, to to step into that space. Um, Caleb said, uh, you know what I wrote to you and probably could feel what I was going through. Yes, I could very much so feel what you were going through. And Rianne said, I listened to his song, Let Her Dance. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, that song was um, <laughs> a long time in coming. A long, long time in coming. Um, and uh, I'm very grateful that uh, Source gave me the wisdom to go ahead and do that. And there's many things that are coming through now uh, within that, you know, we're going to be merging our centers together uh, now. Uh, I've been doing the work, you know, with uh, gathering separately, and so is he. And uh, starting this Thursday, we're going to, you know, start merging those things together now. And we're going to, you know, start coming together and being together um, and uh, working on a new album together. And, uh, yeah, so many things are coming, many, many things are coming and uh, so I'll have more to share about that uh, at a later time <laughs> but um, yeah absolutely oneness absolutely oneness yay uh, Rianne says absolutely so does anybody else have anything that they would like to share about uh, what they're grateful for or what they appreciate before we kind of go into a meditation 
Uh, Alexander says, I would agree to have, or I, I would have to agree with the every breath statement that you gave. Uh, just got my, adjust uh, my very existence and journey here, I am thankful for. Everything that I encounter on this journey, whether good or bad, has helped me to grow, and I'm appreciative for that. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I agree with you whole, wholeheartedly, Alexander. Thank you for that. Um, James said, I'm going to be absent for a second. <laughs> you, it has, you has to get some clothes. <laughs> That's fine. That's totally awesome. I understand. Light says, I am grateful that I am awake and being with wonderful people who are very supportive. I am thankful that I exist and granted the ability to experience life. But I also want to be thankful for something that is yet to come, that I am going to a great college and entering into a new wave of love. Oh, that's beautiful. Fantastic. You know, that's that's good. I'm glad you brought that up. <clears throat> for uh, Thank you for saying that. That's very beautiful. And I'm really glad you brought that up. Because there is another aspect of appreciation. And that is appreciating, and that's actually what the essence of true prayer is, appreciating what is yet to come. Um, I'm often asked this question, you know, isn't it uh, fantasy to uh, sit there and appreciate something, you know, that it's not there in, in uh, existence yet? And my uh, response to people is this. It's like um, a sports figure, okay? What happens, you know, for the hockey store who's looking to get that winning goal? The winning goal hasn't happened yet, right? They haven't, they haven't uh, gotten that winning goal yet, but in their imagination, in their dreams, in their, you know, talking about it and whatever, if they say they are appreciative for it and seeing it as if it already is, then it brings it into being because that's how the universe works. So just because something physically isn't here in the palm of your hands right now, it's, it, it, it doesn't mean that it's not here. It is very much here. You're just calling it forth. Uh, Charlie says exactly, and Alexander said manifesting it. Yeah, exactly. And actually, to uh, give you an example of this, I had no idea something that was coming forth. And speaking of appreciation, pardon me for a second, leaning off to the side of the camera, but I had to get something out of my purse here that I want to show you on camera here. Obviously, on audio, you all won't be able to see it, um, but maybe I'll provide a picture of it. Um, I brought something forth into existence that came to me uh, Saturday, uh, just a few days after what happened for me. Uh, and if you guys maybe can see it here on the video, I'm going to try to get a clear view for you. It's actually a um, crystal. And it looks to be, it's like pinkish purple. It has amethyst in it. It also has uh, green in it. And I'm not sure what the green is yet, um, but it is some sort of a green uh, type stone or what have you. And Saturday evening when we had our gathering here locally, uh, there was a woman who brought this in who's part of our group. She just just literally came into our group two weeks ago and uh, she placed this in my hands and I was just overwhelmingly appreciative and actually when I hold it in my hand I don't know if you can see it but it actually looks like a heart so I'm holding my beloved's heart in my hands because immediately upon receiving this in my hand and she had said that um, she had been called to, re to uh, get this and she had went to three uh, crystal shops to uh, find this and she didn't know who it was for she just knew that she was meant to get it and she was meant to bring it to our gathering and this stone actually is raw uh, quartz crystal it's raw amethyst uh, also has some rose quartz in it and again this green which I'm not sure what it is uh, the stone that's in it but it is green and it is my beloved's and my uh, both of our uh, favorite colors purple and green and this is actually the stone that he gave me in Lemuria when he left to try to go save the lands and to save the crystals that were stolen. And he um, gave this to me as like a promise, what we would call nowadays a promise ring, but obviously it's not a ring, it's a promise stone, um, promising me that he would come back home. And so I was appreciative for something that I didn't even know 
<laughs> was in existence yet here on this earth, but yet my soul knew. And so it brought it forth into being, and it came, and just the overwhelming tears, and it, it was just amazing. And so we can, you know, do like the sports stores do, you know, and see it from the end, and then know that um, it's already here. And speaking of that, I just got a text message from the very woman who gave me that stone. <laughs> How funny is that? I will have to answer her back later. <clears throat> Actually, it's not very funny. See, appreciative. You appreciate something and, and, and quickly it manifests. How beautiful is that, eh? <laughs> so, on that note, <laughs> I am going to... Um, since we have the capability to do that, uh, now here in our new uh, meeting room, I'm going to hit this thing here, I think. Yes. And we are going to begin our meditation. Wait, let's talk about money. Oh, okay. Well, we hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me pause. <laughs> Okay, wait, let's talk about money. All right, Charlie wants to talk about money. What do you want to talk about money, Charlie? Synchronicity, absolutely, absolutely. I think he's kidding. Well, okay, we can talk about money, though. I mean, it's the same thing, though. You know, appreciating money. You know, being in a space of appreciation for money. Uh, one of my mantras, actually, in that is... Um, I appreciate the infinite abundance that is already and always here right now. I appreciate uh, the source always providing me financially and always right now. And I, you know, put it in that context so that it's instantly manifesting, you know. And so it's ever expanding and ever manifesting instantaneously. Whether he's kidding or not, we just touched on it a little bit. <laughs> I know you were being sarcastic, but that's okay. It's all good. So we're going to manifest uh, tonight in a meditation. Um, I was given uh, a couple of weeks ago um, the message of the Mists of Avalon, which absolutely is one of my favorite books and uh, movie that I watched yet again. Uh, <laughs> and uh, It was on uh, YouTube. And uh, so tonight, uh, the inspiration that was coming through is that we're going to do a meditation of appreciation in the midst. And so I invite you all to simply close your eyes and take a deep breath and focus on your breathing. And as you focus on your breathing, Remember this is a safe space in which anything you wish can come into being in appreciation for who you are in this moment. Seeing the light filling your being and how beautiful that is. And as you focus on your breath, take a moment to see a river before you. And by this river, on the shore of this river, it seems a wide river. And at the shore there's a boat. see it before you and just gaze at this boat as you focus on your breath going deeper watching the waves seeing the boat before you Watch yourself now walking towards this boat. And 
as you walk, you go deeper and deeper into relaxation. Feeling the calmness and the peace. More and more relaxed. Almost as if you're floating to this boat. Get in this boat now. And you will notice that on the floor of the boat, there is a crystal. Choose what color crystal that is. Maybe it's rose quartz. Maybe it's amethyst. Citrine. Clear quartz. Whatever crystal this is for you, see it there in the bottom of the boat. And pick it up and place it in your hands. Feel the energy of this crystal. As it bathes you in its light. And as you hold this crystal, this crystal is the steering wheel, if you will, for this boat. your hands with the crystal in it and reach out forward and see the boat just start to effortlessly move it's starting to glide down the river now you're floating along this river, a mist starts to come. You're holding the crystal in your hands. And this mist is of the color red. As this boat and you travel in this red mist, it grounds you and centers you into the womb of Mother Earth. And within the safety. What is it that you appreciate in being in this safe womb? Feel that now and experience that now. message does Mother Earth in the womb have for you? river in your boat. The mist now starts to turn the color orange. Bringing you into 
to the center of your creative energy, your sexual energy, your sensual energy. Appreciate that. And allow any healing to occur. Anything you're holding on to, just let it go in forgiveness. Release. Forgiving yourself and forgiving anyone else and anything else. message of creativity of this moment, being in this orange mist. What is the message of appreciation? What do you appreciate in the sacral, sexual, sensual energy of you? Appreciate your creative energy. And carrying the womb of Mother Earth with you and the sensual, sacral, sexual creative energies with you. Now see this mist as you're floating down the river turn into yellow. The power presence of your I am. The umbilical cord of who you are. Feel the crystal in your hand that you are still holding light up, infusing this energy into your solar plexus, appreciating the I am awareness that you are. say, I appreciate, I am beautiful, I appreciate, I am whole, perfect and complete, simply as I am right here and now. chakra of love. And this green mist as you are floating on your boat is like a warm hug welcoming you, embracing you, and loving you. appreciate. I am love. I appreciate. I am love.
heart of source is now speaking to you. Hear the message from your heart, the heart of source, speaking to you. What is the message you are being given? Receive this message. Appreciate and say thank you. Thank you, Source. And the boat is now effortlessly and easily continuing down the river. As the mist now becomes a beautiful blue. Your song, your voice. Sing your song. Hear the song of your soul signature name, of the core essence of who you are. Sing it out loud. And allow that to fill your being in appreciation. Bathing you in the essence of who you are. that you are always free and safe to share your, your truth, the truth of who you are, and the truth of love. Appreciate that voice, your voice. And traveling further down this river now. The mist turns into a beautiful indigo purple color. Paving your third eye, activating your spiritual sight, your vision, and seeing it from the end, create a vision for your life now, seeing it already done. Appreciating that vision, seeing it in great detail, what is that vision? Appreciate your vision given to you, knowing that it comes to you now, effortlessly and easily. And 
And now as you travel this river in your boat, you will see the mists as they turn into a brilliant bright white with shimmery sparkles like magic fairy dust falling from the sky. white light and shimmering glittery sprinkles that are falling infinitely from the sky. You see someone join you in your boat. Just effortlessly appearing as if they've been with you all along. I have been with you all along. This is the one who calls to your heart. Maybe it is your partner now. Maybe it is your twin soul or soulmate or near twin. It's the one who calls to your heart whether they're with you physically in this life or not. See them there with you. Rowing the boat together. Effortlessly and easily. In your oars or your crystals. The crystal that resides within your hand still. And the one you love their crystal in their hand. See your hands joining together in union and your crystals joining together in union. That you effortlessly travel this water together. That it is no longer a wide river. It is now one. The union of love and of oneness. And see yourselves traveling to the shore together. The boat just effortlessly comes to the shore. Beloved helps you out of the boat. As the white mists and the sparkling lights, the twinkling fairy dust is falling around you, the white mists of union, of oneness and love. And walking to this light, Dismiss together with your beloved hand in hand, knowing only oneness, knowing only love, and only peace. Carrying that within you always. Merging it into just light. And use this light now. For when you're ready to take a deep breath. And start to feel yourself more here. yourself coming back more and more into the room, starting to feel your toes, feeling the essence of your every breath again, and 
more and more awake and here, backing the room with all of us. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and stretch. Come back and say hello. Welcome back. Feeling yourself here. Charlie says, thank you. Caleb says, glad I could make it before things go too far ahead. Ha ha, yeah, no kidding, eh, Caleb? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Light says, great one. Indeed. Absolutely. How beautiful is that, eh? Alexander said that was so re relaxing. Very good. I'm glad. I'm very glad it was. Uh, Lady Dice says, thank you, Princess. You're very welcome. Uh, Caleb said that was interesting. Okay, how so? How was it interesting for you? Well, in the beginning I saw my mum. Uh, Caleb says uh, she kept going giant oh interesting that is very interesting uh, kind of like getting larger than life so to speak uh, I could make myself grow with her ah how beautiful that's awesome very much a symbol of you growing with her now eh? and that you're getting larger than life and expanding that's beautiful uh, that was later on though and I was giving to her oh awesome you were giving to her uh, what love then that's awesome that's fantastic I honor you that's a uh, real coming home for you in many ways eh that's awesome uh, no light in, more so uh, providing your light to her okay okay awesome awesome very good illuminating her that's awesome so that we could grow giant together oh that's beautiful that is beautiful I really honor you that's fantastic what a beautiful way to um, go into uh, these next moments on the journey for the two of you that's that's really amazing that is truly amazing Does anybody have anything that you would like to ask uh, or anything else that you would like to share that's coming through for you this evening? Uh, Caleb says it was weird because in my orange light I could not grow with her. It was almost as if I couldn't sink with her like she was a statue that I was floating away from. Now that's interesting that you say that it was in the orange light. Um, that's ve I'm glad you, I'm glad that came up for you actually that's very indicative of uh, the orange energy or the sacral chakra is oftentimes particularly for for the divine feminine um, it's also for the divine fem masculine too but most of the time for the divine feminine is where we store all of our anger and all of our hurt uh, our sexual organs um, you know hold a lot of whether it's divine masculine or d divine feminine hold a lot of energy of our past hurts from relationships, uh, from our past hurts of any uh, abuse uh, of any sort, emotional, sexual, financial, physical, it doesn't matter. Um, any of that that's being held um, it has to do with that uh, and so that's that's probably why you were having trouble sinking with her because there's some hurt, hurt there that she's still working through and uh, so that is probably why you were unable to penetrate that so there's some healing work that's you know meant to go on uh, for you and uh, lady said uh, lady dice said she has to run okay beautiful love bless you and thank you for coming on tonight uh, thank you I love you uh, Caleb says oh that's good to know because I tried really hard I felt bad I was floating away from her um, yeah that that's why um, for the divine masculine usually it's a uh, it can be held within the sacral chakra area or the solar plexus area um, 
and or the heart chakra area are the three big ones for the divine masculine that's why you see um uh like uh my beloved uh you know uh or myself uh you know in that area region of the uh, abdominal or a lot of people you know in the abdominal region have uh you know excess weight there carry their weight there uh primarily um for those of us who are you know uh mother uh mothers we carry it there you know obviously because you know we give birth to children but um also it's like a layer of protection that's to protect the sacral chakra and the solar plexus when we're in that ego space of uh requiring uh protection what tends to happen as you start healing those things those old wounds those core wounds um having to do with forgiveness of self and having to do with forgiveness of others in in terms of all that energy that you're storing in the sacral chakra and solar plexus chakra of any uh past hurts of past relationships and things of that nature the weight then starts to fall off and um i've seen that in my own life both with physical detox that i've done as well as you know spiritual detox that i've done uh in that region so for for your mum that's really what it is there's some healing energy uh of some past hurts for her um and so it was not a reflection of anything having to do with you love it was just simply you know where she's at right now uh light says uh the crystal that came to me was clear quartz with blue and green color really i really loved it oh how beautiful fantastic uh blue and uh is the healing color you know and uh green is also the uh color of uh mother earth but also the heart chakra energy so um that's quite beautiful that you have that clear quartz that had those two colors in it it's quite beautiful Uh Caleb said uh yeah another cool thing was that I helped my mom out of the boat beautiful so that led me to believe that I was her, uh that I was her beloved that was before you said that even yes indeed indeed and you are that you are that beloved for her in this in this moment as you go on this next part of the journey because you are going to be helping to her to heal um through the forgiveness that you've received in what happened to you uh you know or with you uh this last week uh you are now able to take that and help to heal her and so in essence you are like being her beloved you are taking on that role so that's quite beautiful that you're doing that and that's awesome um that uh you uh helped her out of the boat that's that's beautiful I honor you and that means you are going to it's also meaning you're going to help out and that was the symbolism um of that part of the meditation that was coming through in the moment was as you were helping your beloved out of the boat whoever your beloved is is that you are now going to help your beloved the one who calls to your heart and then also others in the world uh to uh get out of the boat basically to get out of that space of hurt and pain and fear and anger and you know all of those angst that you know anxieties and whatever you are going to help your beloved uh to get out of the boat of that and come into the light so that's beautiful uh Caleb says I need to make her my beloved again so yeah you're right yes indeed indeed and this is the opportunity for you to do that Uh Alexander said uh going through the purple mist was the part of the meditation I could feel the most. Maybe it was more beneficial to me than the other colors. Could you explain why uh you would think uh that would be why? Um Charlie says thank you but you must head out for the night cuz it's a super long day. Good night Charlie. Yes, indeed. And Alexander, yes. Uh the purple light being the strongest for you. uh love is because it's the color of enlightenment and being that it is the color of the third eye chakra you are opening up to your spiritual sight and so it would be more beneficial for you than the other colors mainly because that's the focus of what your next steps are in the journey right now you are opening up to that spiritual sight in which you are able to see both multidimensionally and also seeing beyond and that kind of refer 
refers a little bit to what I was just saying to Caleb uh, a few minutes ago in the sense of helping your beloved. You are going to help your beloved or the one who calls to your heart, um, whoever that may be, and also the beloveds of all, including yourself, with seeing beyond. In other words, seeing beyond all of those um, fears and angers and all of that because that's all just projections of the ego self and, you know, is really, um, you know, you're seeing beyond that into love. And so the third eye or the purple color uh, also happens to be my favorite color. So thank you. I appreciate that. (laughs) But uh, it's also a reflection of what you are coming into within seeing your spiritual sight. This will also open you up multidimensionally. As I said, you're going to start seeing and traveling multidimensionally. You're also going to start seeing um, spirit and seeing um, others come to you, uh, other beings from other dimensions and uh, other universes and parallel universes. So all of that's opening up to you. Also the spiritual sight in terms of uh, the way that uh, source, God, spirit, the master artist, who you know, whatever you choose to call this source uh, of the universe, is going to be bringing through messages to you through third eye activation now. So you may start receiving more vivid visions. Uh, you may also uh, start receiving uh, premonitions as well of things to come that you see uh, happening. Uh, you know, you may start seeing loved ones crossed over, uh, people's auras. You know, all of that is an ever expanding essence of. Open in the third eye so for you it was really more um, a third eye initiation or third eye activation for you in the sense of your spiritual sight opening up and coming into an enlightenment both on a personal level and then also uh, you know opening up your gifts spiritually to be able to help others as well as yourself so uh, that's what's really going on there Um, and Caleb said hmm Take those slow and don't overdo uh, thinking about it. Just let your heart feel the purple, the visions. Uh, Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing. Um, With visions, they often sometimes come, uh, you know, rapidly. So just take your time and drink it in. Um, you know, sit with it, uh, but don't sit with it too long. And the reason I say that is this. It's uh, kind of something a little bit we talked about during the 11-11 activation uh, that we did, that uh, gathering that we did here um, for that, uh, which is the fact that we have that initial intuitive hit or that initial uh, vision or that initial um, receiving from source of a message. And that is always, 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 always 110,000% right on. What happens is, is that we sit with it for a while and then the ego kicks in and says, oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, that's just my imagination. Oh, I, that's not going to come into being. And so then what tends to happen is, is we end up overriding the initial vision with that fear and that, oh, it's not going to happen thing. And then whatever it was, the vision just goes away or becomes the not going to happen kind of thing because we second guess it. Um, so in sitting with it or not overdoing it, just allow whatever's to come. And I think what Caleb means in the uh, not overdoing it, 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 meaning in the sense of, you know, whatever's coming to you, just allow it to come. Don't force it. And when it comes, trust it. Okay, trust that that is being given to you for a reason and that it is meant for you to unfold and uh, you know following your heart and uh, so Caleb said yeah absolutely uh, let your heart lead you yes absolutely um, that's that's really the the uh, crux of it is allowing your heart to lead you uh, light says wonderful meditation thanks Anari good night everyone good night light much love and light to you beautiful one um, thank you for being here tonight I appreciate you bless you um, yeah, it, it's very key to allow your heart to lead you and understanding the difference between the heart uh, leading you and that initial intuition and then the ego coming in with the doubt um, and the doubt overriding it so that it uh, then inactivates what it is your vision is. When you get that first initial intuitive hit, that is your heart or that intuitive vision, that is your heart and that is your heart speaking to you and uh, to listen to that and uh, to follow it and allow it to guide you wherever it's you know meant to lead you even if it sounds somewhat crazy I had a woman who came to me earlier today who I mentor locally here uh, who uh, 
said that uh, someone, you know, who she's uh, in connection with uh, said that, uh, you know, basically, in essence, that she was crazy. And so I said, you know, I've had my beloved say that to me, too. And my reaction is I say, thank you. Speaking of appreciation, I said, yeah, I appreciate it. You know, I'm in good company with uh, people like, uh, you know, Gibran and Rumi and uh, uh, who my beloved is, you know, in another life. And uh, also, you know, with Gandhi and uh, Martin Luther. Luther King and, you know, other beings who have changed this earth because, you know, uh, they were thought crazy too. But, you know, look at the change that they brought about because they trusted their heart and they followed their heart and their intuition. So being led by love is and being led by your heart, you know, um, that's why my beloved Sue Troubadour and I have uh, in our books, uh, Song of the Troubadour and Song of the Princess, this simple prayer, which is, may your heart be guided by love, and may your songs echo this same heart, and that's truly what it means, it means to be led by that love vision, the living of love's vision, and what love's vision is giving to you in the moment, and trusting that, and allowing your heart to guide you and love to guide you rather than, you know, ego and fear and doubt and worry and all of those things that come in afterwards. Go back to that original intuition and uh, that original guidance that's given you. Um, the best way I can give it to you uh, as well is, you know, when my beloved sweet tributor and I first came together, he had that first intuitive knowing. I mean, one of his very, very, almost almost his very first letter to me, uh, I think it was like maybe his second or third letter that he wrote to me, he wrote to me how uh, I am his princess. When he sent me Song of the Truth, or he said that I would resonate as his princess upon each word, each verse, each, you know, page uh, of the uh, manuscript. And so he had that intuitive knowing, and I've always brought him back to that intuitive knowing, because over our years together, we've had to go through all that ego, doubt, fear, and worry, you know, both of us. We both had, you know, uh, ego, fear, doubt, worry, both lashing out at each other, both running away, both, you know, uh, you know, in all of these other spaces of, you know, fear, doubt, worry, and all of that stuff. And in going through it, I have always returned back to and always reminded him to return back to that first initial intuitive hit that he had, that he knew that I am his princess. That was his heart speaking. That was his intuition speaking. And he knew that that was love speaking to him. That was, you know, source, God, spirit, whatever, speaking to him and saying, yes, she is the one. She is your beloved. She is your princess. And so I always return him back to that in each moment. And so for you, it's that same thing. When you get that vision in that purple, Alexander, follow the purple, <laughs> you know, uh, follow that intuitive vision, um, even if it seems, you know, crazy kind of thing. Um, so Caleb says, so Nanari, my mum in the light was melting away and I had to tell her to stay with me uh, then and then we grew we grow giant uh, will you elaborate possibly as to what your thoughts are the shore that we ran into was a pile of shining dust the just dust made the entire river into the shore oh that's beautiful like it was diluting the water into a land of shining dust but she was melting away and I told her to stay and we grew giant together. Well, that that's very indicative of um, what you were kind of envisioning um, what could possibly come into being. As you go through this healing with her and helping to heal her heart, similar to, uh, and I'm glad I brought this up because of this intuitiveness that my beloved had of me uh, that I shared just before you asked this question. Um, because what's happening for you with your mom is that as you go through this process now with her and helping to heal her heart, as I help to heal my beloved's heart and heal my heart as well through our process, it was as if we felt like we were fading, you know, that we were, you know, going into a pile of dust. And yet we kind of, you know, told one another to stay with each other. And in that we became the, sh the shining 
sparkling dust that you're talking about so with your mom it's the same thing as with my beloved you're going to go through some periods with her now through this healing process where it may seem like she's melting away to you like she's leaving but in essence she's not really leaving at all she's really melding into the light and melding into that shining dust and shining into who she really is and so at those moments that you feel as if she is leaving you and you said you know that you told her to stay that's beautiful you know and that's what my beloved and I uh, you know my beloved sweet troubadour and I we did we said to one another in essence stay and so we did stay and in staying the power of love was there and we turned into the shining beings that we are so that's what's going to happen with you and your mom you know there may be some moments where that happens where she feels like she's you know got to run away and melting away and that you feel like you're losing her but you're going to bring it back into the light and heal her and then you both will be in this space of like glowing light like my beloved and I are now so it's quite beautiful that that's happening uh, and Caleb says uh, she has been telling me that she has been feeling more human nowadays uh, we have been talking a lot that's good that's good um, it's good that she's coming into that space where she's talking with you and it's also good that she's feeling more human and the reason I say that is is that we are as the saying goes we are spiritual beings having a human experience but it's also a full circle we are within having that human experience remembering the spiritual being that we are so it's a full circle and her coming into her humanity is very important because it gets her in touch with being in that heart chakra essence which is both spiritual and human in which you feel and I had a woman who um, I mentor here locally who came to me a few Few days ago and said to me um, how she was afraid to feel and my response to her was you know you're meant to feel you're meant to break open your heart and you're meant to feel and that's part of the human experience and part of the spiritual experience in in both and it really has you come into melding both within your heart chakra so that you can really be who you are and who you are is really love so it's very important that you heal and I know what it's like not to heal uh, to uh, to feel because I did that I closed my heart off for many years and didn't really feel that strong essence of love within me and um, it wasn't until the last uh, almost five years that I've really opened my heart and began to really feel so that's beautiful that you're going to uh, go through this and that you are going through this now with your mom um, because she's now coming into that space where she can feel both on the human aspect and also the spiritual melding those into one um, and that's really uh, that's really beautiful and I honor her for taking the steps in the journey and honoring you see it's it's interesting because um, you know what you had happened Caleb uh, where you were almost killed and myself uh, as well you know just within a couple of days of one another uh, you know even though it's considered to be a bad experience from an earthly standpoint um, it's actually very beautiful because look at it's opening your mom's heart it's opening your heart it's it's you know and you're going to take this out now into the world and hope in so many other hearts and that's you know what I'm doing with you know what I'm doing here and what we are doing my beloved and I together and you know we are opening up so many hearts now um, as a result of what's happening so you know we can take and see the blessing and appreciate the blessing in what happened uh, and uh, continue to appreciate it as we go forward and open our hearts more and those who we love and you know others in the world as well uh, Caleb says uh, mum said she wasn't happy I got into the crash but she is very happy to have me with her uh, she really wanted me to live with her be even before the crash yeah see it was a catalyst yeah it was very much a, a, a catalyst uh, and I know it's a catalyst for me moving as close as I am to my beloved and um, I also am fully aware that um, I won't be living at uh, the, that new place that I'm moving to for very long uh, because I will be um, you know uh, I am going to be moving in with him as a catalyst and I am going to be living with my beloved sweet troubadour um, and so this is just a step into that you know uh, space and that was the catalyst for it uh, that event had to happen for both of us for us to be able to come into the space that we're you know now embarking upon um, you know to where I am going I am uh, living with my beloved sweet troubadour and you are living with your your mum 
uh, J uh, Caleb said, her boyfriend and her accepting me more with open arms. Sebastian has a lot of grace. He came with her, uh, helped me to move, and was nothing but nice to me, even though I treated him like garbage before. See, you see exactly what you're saying. It was a catalyst. It opened that door to that space of love. And oftentimes, we, in our humanness of experience, for us to get it, we have to be hit by a spiritual Dubai for or have something traumatic uh, and dramatic uh, in that drama happen uh, for us to get the message. And, you know, my beloved and I, same thing. We got the message very loud and clear that now is the moment for us to be together now is the moment for us to come together and be together so yeah I totally I totally understand uh, Alexander said thank you for elaborating for me this is my first group meditation experience and I can definitely say it's been an enlightening experience and that makes me feel amazing I will be back next week love and light to all of you namaste namaste to you too and thank you I'm I'm uh, very honored that this was your first uh, meditation experience in a group setting thank you very much for coming Alexander um, I really appreciate that uh, you joined us this evening uh, and I honor you and uh, yes definitely see you next week looking very much forward to it love and light to you too and namaste I'm so very happy for you and uh, Caleb says ha 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 yay I am so fa very happy for you and your beloved yes indeed um, I am very happy for uh, my beloved sweet troubadour and I as well um, it's it's time <laughs> It's very much time, you know, coming up to uh, winter solstice here. It's, you know, it's time. Uh, good night, uh, Alexander says. Good night to you as well, love. Good night. Uh, wonderful to have you here with us this evening and uh, definitely see you again next week. And uh, uh, on that note, uh, we'll make this the last call. If anyone else has anything else that they wish to share, please feel free to now. Um, or any other questions to ask we'll make this be the last call for the evening and uh, just so you know we will be back here again next Tuesday evening same bad time same bad channel 7 p.m. Pacific uh, 9 p.m. Central and 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, right here on the our Ascension website uh, or any meeting.com just go to our, our Ascension uh, website and the group meditation and all the information will be there and uh, if you uh, want to uh, connect with me for a private one-on-one uh, -on -one mentoring session or spiritual reading or spiritual guidance, uh, please feel free to contact my website uh, at www.diamondlady.net. Uh, my email address is nanari, N-E-N-A-R-I, at diamondlady.net. Uh, our uh, website also is uh, for Twin Souls uh, is, is not to nanari.net. So www.natu, N A T U, nanari, N E N A R I, dot net as well. And so there's wisdom about Twin Souls and the Twin Soul journey and what it truly means uh, in being in a space of un conditional love divine love as well and uh, we can provide mentoring uh, as well on that website so you can contact us off there as well uh, Caleb says just wanted to say thanks for the elaboration truly thank you Nanari I really feel that I know you very well even though we don't talk often <laughs> yes Caleb we do know one another very very well even though we don't talk that often um, you're quite right we do very much indeed and maybe at some point we'll uh, elaborate on that at some point uh, in the future or near future as we call it <laughs> so with that said um, many blessings of love and light to you uh, beautiful Caleb and to all who are here thank you all for coming this evening um, really appreciate you being here and honor you and uh, thank you and uh, good evening good night good morning god morning and uh, espavo be love now for that is who you are espavo <laughs>